What's up, everybody? Hope you're having an awesome day and you're staying safe wherever it is in the world that you are. Today, I've got my first comparison review. It is comparing two Max Cushion running shoes that are probably my favorite Max Cushion running shoes so far in 2021. The Nike Zoom X Invincible and the New Balance Fresh Foam More V3. If you get anything out of the video, which I really hope you do, find that thumbs up button and smash it for me. While you're down there, hit subscribe and that bell button. That way you get a notification every time I upload a new video and there's something waiting for you to be watched. If you've got any comments, leave them down below. I am super interested in your thoughts, your questions, whatever it is that you've got to say about sneakers. I've also got an Instagram page. It's three kicks a day. Head on over there and check it out. There's pictures of shoes. It's going to make you happy. I promise. Well, if you love shoes, it'll make you happy. But I guess even if you don't love shoes, give us a follow. Now, the Zoom X Invincible and the More V3. These are two Max Cushion running shoes that, like I said, have been my absolute favorite Max Cushion running shoes so far in 2021. And while I've wanted to do a comparison between these two shoes, I didn't expect that I would do it right now. But I found myself unintentionally running a back-to-back -back runs in both the Zoom X Invincible and the More V3, putting about 11.5K in the Zoom X Invincible and 10 and a bit in the More V3. So I thought it's a good time for me to get some thoughts down and to share those with you all. I won't be breaking each of the individual components down and talking about them in detail for the respective shoes. If you're interested in that level of detail, you can find my initial review on both of the shoes as well as a progressive 50 review on the Zoom X Invincible. I can't figure out how to link it in the video. I'm pretty new to the platform still. So just go through the histories. It's pretty easy to find and click on those links and you can watch those videos. But what I'll do instead is focus on the bottom half and top half of the shoe and talk about how the differences between the two shoes influence a different ride characteristic, I guess. But before we get into my thoughts, let's refresh our minds on the specs of each of the shoes. Now, as far as uppers go, the Zoom X has got the Flyknit, albeit a different type of Flyknit than I've been used to in the past. And the More V3 has a more traditional type of engineered mesh. As far as the midsole tech goes, this is where you're going to see a bit of a difference between the two setups. While the Zoom X Invincible obviously gets the Zoom X foam, it gets a high stack and a high drop. The More V3 has the Fresh Foam X compound. And while it's got a relatively high high heel stack that's lower than the Zoom X Invincible, it's actually got a low drop that gives a higher forefoot stack than the Invincible. Enough about the stats, let's get into talking about the shoes, starting with the bottom half. And I guess while I said I wouldn't talk about the individual components, I will say the outsoles are about on par with each other. While the Zoom X has a full coverage rubber outsole, you're not getting all that rubber in the More V3, but you're certainly getting good rubber coverage and traction is uncompromised in both of the shoes. They both have great platforms that you're sitting on, but the difference comes from the setup of the midsoles. I've found that the implementation of Fresh Foam X in the More V3 to favor comfort over speed. Whereas the Zoom X with its higher drop and slightly more responsive nature is a little bit more geared to being a max cushion running shoe that can pick up the pace a little bit more. I don't think either shoe could be a racing shoe, but then if you're a lot fitter than I am, I'm sure you could race in them. You could really do anything in any shoe, I guess, depending on who you are. But 
what I found with the more V3 is that that is just much more of a cruising shoe. I never feel like picking up the pace in it. I think sort of like the weight and the low drop just helps you sit at a more moderate pace. But having said that, you feel incredibly well cushioned and you feel like your foot is just being really looked after with every stride. You don't feel any pressure. And while you don't have the need to go fast, you're quite happy to go for a longer distance. Whereas with the Zoom X Invincible, it carries a lot of those characteristics. But where you want to pick up the pace, I think the higher drop and the more responsive nature of the Zoom X really lets you do that a bit more easier than you would find with the more V3. Into the upper, and this is where we see those same themes from the midsoles carry through into the respective shoes. Both of the uppers are what I would call robust. They're comfortable, but they're breathable, and they do the job well, especially when paired to a max training running shoe. But if we look at the Zoom X's upper, there are certain things that lend itself well to a more streamlined fit, I guess. There are fairly minimal overlays in both uppers, but there just feels like there's probably a little bit less in the Zoom X and a little bit less padding around the heel area in general. And the tongue itself, while well padded, fits a little bit shorter doesn't provide any issues but when you move to the v3's upper there is a definite sense that this thing is built like a tank a well sort of constructed mesh material with heaps of padding around the heel area and a super well padded tongue exactly like you'll find in the zoom x that fits right up your foot they are similar in nature that they're both super comfortable and breathable uppers but there is a focus on comfort with the V3, whereas the Zoom X kind of feels like, hey, I'm a max cushion running shoe that has like this fast running little kid trying to break free. I don't think that makes any sense. But you kind of hopefully get what I'm trying to say. They're both going to provide you a lot of comfort. So while both shoes offer incredible max cushion performance, the recommendation for which one is for you really depends on the type of running that you like to do and how you want your running shoe to fit. If you're after comfort over all else, then I would go the more V3. If you're looking for comfort, but you do want to have the option to pick up the pace a little bit and have a little bit more of a speedier stance, I would go with the Zoom X Invincible. I'm interested in your thoughts. If you've got both, run in both, and you've got different thoughts to me, or they're the same as me, let me know in the comments below. Also, throw any questions in there as well. Until the next video, laters.